Greetings all and welcome to Algo Fox Academy. Continuing our master class on Excel automation. Today we are going to take a step ahead from our lesson number 1. If you have not checked out our first lesson on Excel automation, I would highly recommend you to check that out. The link is already in the description. In today's lesson, we are going to go a step ahead and talk about a lot more advanced concepts that we can automate on Excel sheet and also to help us guide us through this entire session we have our co-founder of algofox mr hasmuk prajapati also with us we welcome him welcome hasmuk sir how are you all so yes for sure right so sir uh, today we will be talking about excel automation so i hand over the session to you please take it ahead from here and uh, we will talk about the advanced option automation stuff that we have on uh, excel and how we can automate it with algofox fine so i i, I will just explain you entire stuff what you can just do on the excel okay so step by step we are going to follow that let me share my screen I'm just opening this program so very simple the algo fox excel basically this is a python program i just double click on this so yes now you can see the program has been logged in into this and excel sheet has also opened up so now this is a plain vanilla you can see uh, the excel is there with us so now you can just have entire things live on to this so now kushal just do let me know what first things you wanted to discuss right so in the lesson one we spoke about basic excel based automation and equities futures and options in today's session we are going to talk a step ahead let us say uh, let's start with basically having dynamic quantity on or on excel sheet for example if i want to specify quantity based upon specific target stop loss or ltp how exactly we can do that using excel let us explore that in detail first okay. so first of all like let's start with the cash segment itself so nsc state bank of india when you just put it like this so the code will fetch the real time data into the excel and you can see this is open high low ltp volume vwap and all right bid ask is also available and close so the till the k column the entire code is fetching the data now the l column is nothing is a quantity so you can type it like 100 or 25 or whatever the quantity you want but let's say you wanted to explore this based on the exposure so very simple is equal to 25000 which is nothing but your exposure and you can just put it like either ltp so the dynamic quantity will come but you can just instead of dynamic uh this ltp what we can do just do we can just put the open price so this will always going to be stick right static so hum log aise kar sakte hain just divide this with the open so this will give us the static quantity we can just make it like fix so it will always going to round off the lower once we did this now this is a dynamic quantity if we put similar kind of the way on itc then the itc rate will come and if we just drag this then the 56 quantity so this quantity is nothing but the exposure worth of 25000 if you put this on maruti then quantity will come as for the 25000 so you can see only two shares will be going to take because of the it's always lower down the round of figure so this is dynamically uh, calculated quantity so this is possible with excel it will take based on the open price you can make it on a uh, ltp but i would recommend you to use it on the open price because it is always tick static open right yeah kushal right perfect so now using this excel we can even place quantity based on exposure let us place some live trades right now and check if this same quantity is going to our broker terminal now if you put any entry condition so whatever is the mentioned condition over him is going to be fired now let me make this side by side so you guys will be able to set this now i am here into my algo fox account this is my watch list and you guys can see this these are the scripts what i just built in in my watch list if my excel is sending any order and if those script is not there into my watch list we will ignore that now so if we send any orders to the reliance this reliance order is going to be ignored because we haven't added any watch list into this you guys can see 
it is no script found for incoming signal but similar is the case if we send the order into the itc by either pressing one or true if i press true here you guys will be able to see this order will come here in itc and you notice 193 quantity because as i said you it is lower down the quantity always round off and you see the order already been came to the algo fox and same order has been fired to the fires let me get it get it check over the fires terminal and you guys will be able to see that itc 193 quantity has been traded now the same whenever you wanted to take the exit either you can take the exit from the manual you can take the exit from the time or you can take the exit from the stop loss or target or any condition whatever you wanted to build it right now here the opportunities are like endless you can just think and you can just build it you sold it and now if you are just putting like if your ltp is crossing the above uh, previous previous days close then you wanted to exit then you can just consider that as well if you wanted to have that like if the ltp is crossing vweb that is also possible if you are putting your random any numbers let's say right now it is trading at 439.40 and if you wanted to put your 445 then that even is possible right how we can just place such kind of dynamic orders we will discuss all of this in coming uh, like time right so this is just a dynamic quantity whenever you exit this the same quantity whatever the quantity is mentioned over here the same quantity is going to be fired now let me put it side by side so you guys will be able to change that okay if i make this let me make this side by side so the same real time execution you guys will be able to see this see the moment i press one you see the order traveled and with the fractions of second it is exited right first we are just firing the order and later we are writing over the excel because the priority is to firing the order right yes kushal we can just send fixed quantity we can send dynamic quantity we can send all the quantity based on that caller which has been mentioned over the open high low close and vweb and everything right so we can just calculate dynamically yeah perfect so quantity based upon exposure was a requirement of a lot of users i think now user have a clarity on how they can fire orders based upon quantity also a lot of user have this doubt can i place order after a specific time can i you know limit my orders based upon time is that possible in this excel sheet we would love to explore that opportunity also here how you are gonna do that so let's take uh let me check this here is the watch list and in watch list i am just exploring my this infosys now okay infosys so what i'm just doing i'm putting my infosys into my excel so nsc in fee this is the symbol you need to write correct symbol if this terminal symbol is mismatched excel will not going to give you any particular this all the rows market data will not going to be there now you can put the quantity based like this so I just wanted to fire four shares of LTP and this time I wanted to take long the moment market start I wanted to take a long entry in Infosys this is my view if I am having an allotment of some shares and I wanted to go short or I wanted to exit the uh, quantity you can just do that as well here you can see the entry time the column number EH which has been formed over here as an entry time so right now it is a 112 so we can just type 1 pm and here i can just put it like 1 14 now this is my entry now similar way i can put my exit as well so if i wanted to exit this same after the one minute i can put it like 1 15 or whatever the time you want to enter so 1 14 is the entry time 1 15 is the exit time okay now here i need to make true that's it I allowed Excel to place the order. Normally, if we put any buy or sell, immediately it will fire, right? Immediately it will fire. But in this case, it has not fired the. Why? Because we have given the condition your order is supposed to process on the given time, not before that particular allowed time. So we allowed Excel to place an order in Infosys for four share 
the condition is a buy the moment clock turns into the 114 it is going to fire the orders now let me go back to the algo fox and check this till now there is no order and the moment your 114 happens excel will process the signal let's see okay so the moment it will turn the both the orders are going to fire side by side let me make this you see infosys order came this is my fired terminal and you guys will be able to see the same infosys order came across algo fox and algo fox has processed the same orders on 1 14 and 0 1 seconds okay in a one second the same order has been processed right so isn't it awesome this is my infosys order within a second it has processed the signal so this excel you will be able to fire the order now the position has been squared off also we are doing our work excel has did its job we have configured entry time we have configured the exit time and you can see that the order has been processed fully automated we haven't did anything and the order has been processed within one or two seconds you will be able to see that your task has been completed you will be able to see over here the order submitted also sir next question that a lot of traders have is can we put targets and stop loss in points and percentage on this excel sheet yes so we can do that so primarily uh, there is a only condition is on percentage so let me show you first how you can just put your uh, targets and stop loss based on the percentage so you put your stop loss you put your target over here the fixed stop loss fixed target so you have to choose wisely if you are just trading with the cash segment then your target and stop loss should be something and if you are placing the orders in options you know that the options are moving like wildly so you need to put your target and stop loss consciously by default if this is like hidden then you need to expand this okay you need to expand this so you will be able to see that fine so if i'm just putting two percent over here right two percent stop loss or one percent stop loss and two percent target one is to two risk reward ratio if you wanted to put that you need to put your script over here right and once you have just decided to go long or short just put your quantity let's say i just wanted to go buy if i press buy you see the above one been traded the entry price has been taken care and one percent is the stop loss two percent is the target and you have seen that the target and stop loss both has been calculated now you need not to worry your system is going to exit either your stop loss or your target whichever comes first it is going to exit fully automated we have already written the code you need not to worry everything is going to be taken care either your stop loss will come either your target will come or else your exit time will come whatever comes first we are going to we are going to exit the sale fine now the next question is how we can just make this on a points right see after aq can entire excel is yours let's say 123 and if you want five point target or stop loss first thing what you need to do you need to define this into the percentage okay into the percentage once you define into the percentage now you can put any numbers let's say two points so 1.63 percentage now au column okay au column so you need to bring au column into the stop loss or target so how would you do this is equal to and go exactly where that column is how would you go there is equal to and put this column okay so this is my percentage so my dynamic stop loss now is came here 1.63 if you putting your 5 rupee stop loss here then you see 4.07 the same stop loss is going to be calculated over here so you can put in target you can put, put in or like stop loss in first point and percentage both the way you could just put yes. yeah perfect so makes sense so by default we have target and stop loss in terms of percentage However, using cell referencing model, we can convert the points into percentage and refer it in the target and stop loss fields. Perfect. Yes. Next, uh, before we wind up the session, we'd also like to discuss what are the other opportunities that we can discuss on this Excel sheet that can help users. So 
guys you can just explore all the segments are allowed into this excel sheet let's say cash futures options weekly monthly next week all sort of data you can just have into the excel and the power powerful thing is with the excel is you need not to approach any developer for this you yourself if you are if you are if you are well was with this excel you guys will be able to calculate the cell referencing and you can just do that okay so let me just show you some glimpse of that let's say tata steel is the price and i just wanted to see the tata steel future price so how would i write this tata steel 2023 it's not date it's a year oct is the month and i want future price so i just did this and you see your price has came now if you want then oct to the november now you can put your november so this will become what november futures now here see this my mistake so now it will come so this is a november futures now if your november future is in premium or discount how you gonna do that you just calculate the cell referencing model the cell referencing model will give you exact how much premiums stock is how much discount stock is is it increasing or is it decreasing every model can be coded into the excel okay so i'll show you that as well is equal to this is my ltp minus this so what you can just sense this is in discount now you see this is a tata steel which is trading 123.75 paisa and in november you can see 124.85 paisa so it is almost 0.8 paisa is the premium so if you wanted to mobilize this you know the on the day of expiry the spot and the future price always going to be the same the future price going to be settled on the underlying price which is nothing but a cash price so you guys can put a note of that you can monitor your real time bank nifty also so how you will write this bank nifty 23 oct and futures here is the price similar way you can just real time need not to worry put just nov november and excel will give you the real time execution you need not to manually calculate this price let's say 306 rupee now if you have turned on this excel in the morning and if your premium is decreasing what is the interpretation it is like market is slowing down if the premium is increasing we can just we can just think that key market is strong now because in future people are paying more premium right so you guys can real time you can calculate similar way you can put a call option put option you can put a cash and future you can put a calendar like this week and next week all sort of this model you can just build on the excel and going forward next tutorials we guys are going to get in depth on those parts yes perfect so in today's lesson uh, we have learned about how we can have dynamic quantities based upon exposure based upon ltp based upon upper high and low values we also saw time based entry and exit that is possible using this excel sheet and also we we covered targets and stop loss based upon points and percentage and a small arbitrage opportunity so i guess that's it for in today's class in the next class we are going to talk in detail about options and how we can automate premium based options combined premium based option multi leg